Hi there guys, Sai here and welcome back to another technical Minecraft video. Today we've got another cannon design because it has been a while and I know you all love the cannons. This is a design I came up with in a chat quite a while ago with Creeper's Nemesis, who is an awesome cannon designer by the way. He has some pretty neat stuff out there. And I never really got round to making it, but now I have and it turned out pretty good, I think. It is completely controllable. Uh, we have at the back here two power gorges. So as you can see at the moment, this is this side is on strength one and that side's on strength zero. And if we fire the cannon now, which is this button, you can see that the TNT will just sort of hop off the edge. It barely even makes it. And that'll just drop down. But we can increase each of these sides power all the way up to seven. That's at 3 now, we'll leave that at 3 and bump this one up to 7 and the controls, basically you just, you can flick them short to get just one off and you can leave them down to increase it over time and if we do this now that's 7 on that side and 3 on this side so it should go flying off in that direction. Oh, that wasn't. A proper button press. Sometimes it does that. I'm not sure why in the new snapshot. Yep, it goes roaring off in that direction. Uh, apart from these two controls, which I should actually demonstrate something else, there is a bug with TNT in this snapshot. I'm not sure if it's been there for a long time or not. This is snapshot 7A, by the way, I believe. I'm not sure if 8A is even out. Uh, but it shouldn't really matter. There's nothing in here that's changed since like 3 or 4A. Right? Uh, if you see there, we have all of these on full power, and the TNT went slightly off in that direction, and this is reproducible. This will happen every single time. If the TNT is balanced, the shot will always fire off slightly to the left, and possibly very much to the left. Down here we have the third control, which is this final repeater. This can be set between four and one ticks. If we set this to one tick, we can see that the attitude of the shot is much lower. That is because the TNT has landed back on this dispenser by the time that the charge fires. Uh, obviously this is only semi-automatic. I don't think you could make this fully automatic. I tried it before and, well, you could make it fire every four seconds, but mm, not massively impressive. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much else to say except a simple explanation. I'm not going to go through the full thing here. There will be a link to a tutorial video in the doobly-doo and at the end of the video, which will explain everything fully and show you how to put it together. But basically, down here we have two memory cells, which are hexadecimal... well, they're not actually hexadecimal even, the septal, I suppose, if they go up to seven. Oh no, they'll be octal because they go from zero to seven. But anyway, that's irrelevant. They're signal strength cells memory cells and if we were to retract this piston and remove this block here we can see that the strength of the redstone current here decays and if we push this piston and move this block to here we can see that the strength increases up all the way up to seven it'll stop at seven and basically that's how these two controls work and then when we fire it just retracts these two pistons here which allows the state to be transmitted into these and charges TNT from a certain number of these dispensers which are all filled up with TNT. An important thing to note is always make sure that you have less TNT in this than in each of the rear dispensers here because if you have more in there and you accidentally run out of TNT the entire front of the cannon is going to blow up which is why I've put obsidian around here because that's happened to me before because I'm stupid like that yay I don't know why I cheered then whatever anyway um yeah so schematics and world download are going to be in the doobly-doo and I guess that's pretty much it. There's not a lot else to say. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something. And if you want to see the tutorial, you can probably click on the screen there, I guess.
Yep, I'll leave a link there, and that will teach you how to make this thing, which isn't really that hard to make. You could easily do this in survival with a lot of TNT, of course. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, have a nice day, and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye! Thank you.